Good morning. Hi, everybody. Good We're morning. not on the patio. We're not on the patio. It's cold, guys. <laughs> <laughs> everybody stays warm when you go out today. It's really pretty, but there's a little nip in the air. It's kind of nice. <laughs> I was walking last night and coming back. It was right after the rain and it was cooling off and there was mist over the park as it, as it cooled down. It's it was very cool. Good morning, Amanda and Trisha and Kim <laughs> and all others who have joined us. Any others who have joined us. We are not on the patio. We're in the comfort of our living room. <laughs> and in two minutes, we will start morning prayer. Thanks for joining us. I imagine we're going to have a lot of kitchens smelling really good today. So I hope you enjoy whatever Thanksgiving preparation you have going for you. I know most of us are planning to keep it pretty simple this year. But we all have our favorites, don't we? Things we do. that make it special for us. That's right. What's your favorite? I'd have to say pumpkin pie and cranberry relish. It's a tie. It's <laughs> How about you? I think turkey. Turkey. Yes. <laughs> that works. Morning prayer in about a minute. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Sorry, we're not outside right now because the um, it's the time of year when the, the the ducks are on their way through or the geese or whatever they are on their way through and they're quacking back there on the pond and it's kind of a nice backdrop. Maybe next week. We yes. hope next week. We'll see. Good morning, Lois. And I have 80008. Oh, that sounds like it's time to begin. <laughs> it's time to begin. Good morning and welcome on this day before our celebration of Thanksgiving. It is, uh, I'm Jeff Stilling, Sally. I'm Sally. <laughs> and uh, we're glad that you're here with us for morning prayer. A reminder that there's an evening online mm -hmm. service tonight at 7, I believe. 7 o'clock is right. Online service at 7 uh, for Thanksgiving Eve service and our normal Saturday outdoor 4.30 and outdoor Sunday morning at 11 and indoor Sunday morning at 8.45 as well as 8 in the morning, 12, 10 noon and 8 o'clock evening services online. And Sunday online at 10. And Sunday online at 10. Thank you. Thank you for coming That's why there's two of us. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. So we'll start with the uh, with the order of morning prayer on page 77. You shall receive the power of the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. On page 79, we will join together. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most, Most merciful, merciful God, God, we, we confess, confess that we have sinned, sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. undone. We, we have, have not loved you with our whole heart. heart. We, have we have not loved, loved our neighbors, neighbors as ourselves. ourselves. 
We are are truly truly sorry and we humbly repent. repent. For the sake of our Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And next week we'll be saying the Advent words, won't we? If we join together mm-hmm. on page 82 with the Vanity, please. From Psalm 95 to Vanity, page 82. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Continuing on with Psalm 119 on page 775. It's kind of a long stretch. It's verse 145 through 176. Psalm 119 in your prayer book on page 775. We'll read responsibly by whole verse. I call with my whole heart. Answer me, O Lord, that I may keep your statutes. I call to you, O that you would save me. I will keep your decrees. Early in the morning I cry out to you, for in your word is my trust. My eyes are open in the night watches, that I may meditate upon your promise. Hear my voice, O Lord, according to your loving kindness. According to your judgments, give me life. They draw near, who in malice persecute me. They are very far from your law. You, O Lord, are near at hand, and all your commandments are true. Long have I known from your decrees that you have established them forever. Behold my affliction and deliver me, for I do not forget your law. Plead my cause and redeem me according to your promise. Give me life. Deliverance is far from the wicked, for they do not study your statutes. Great is your compassion, O Lord. Preserve my life according to your judgments. There are many who persecute and oppress me, yet I have not swerved from your decrees. I look with loathing at the faithless, for they have not kept your word. See how I love your commandments, O Lord, in your mercy preserve me. The heart of your word is truth. All your righteous judgments endure forever. Rulers have persecuted me without a cause, but my heart stands in awe of your word. I am as glad because of your promise as one who finds great spoils. As for lies, I hate and abhor them, but your law is my love. Seven times a day do I praise you because of your righteous judgments. Great peace have they who love your law. For them there is no stumbling block. I have hoped for your salvation, Lord, and I have fulfilled your commandments. I have kept your decrees, and I have loved them deeply. I have kept your commandments and decrees, for all my ways are before you. Let my cry come before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your promise. My lips shall pour forth your praise when you teach me your statutes. My tongue shall sing of your promise, for all your commandments are righteous. Let your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your commandments. I long for your salvation, O Lord, for your law is my delight. Let me live, and I will praise you, and let your judgments help me. I have gone astray like a sheep that is lost. Search for your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. Glory Glory to to the the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as as it was was in the beginning, 
is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first reading from the Old Testament is from the prophet Zechariah, chapter 12, verses 1 through 10. And we're reading from the NRSV, the New Revised Standard Version. Zechariah, an oracle, the word of the Lord concerning Israel. Thus says the Lord, who stretched out the heavens and founded the earth and formed the human spirit within. See, I am about to make Jerusalem a cup of reeling for all the surrounding peoples. It will be against Judah also in the siege against Jerusalem. On that day I will make Jerusalem a heavy stone for all the peoples. All who lift it shall grievously hurt themselves, and all the nations of the earth shall come together against it. On that day, says the Lord, I will strike every horse with panic and its rider with madness. But on the house of Judah I will keep a watchful eye when I strike every horse of the peoples with blindness. And the clans of Judah shall say to themselves, the inhabitants of Jerusalem have strength to the Lord of hosts, their God. On that day I will make the clans of Judah like a blazing pot on a pile of wood, like a flaming torch among sheaves, and they shall devour to the right and to the left all the surrounding peoples, while Jerusalem shall be again be inhabited in its place in Jerusalem. And the Lord will give victory to the tents of Judah first, that the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem may not be exalted over that of Judah. On that day the Lord shall, will shield the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so that the feeblest among them on that day shall be like David, and the house of the David shall be like God, like the angel of the Lord at their head. And on that day I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. And I will pour out a spirit of compassion and supplication on the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so that when they look on the one whom they have pierced, they shall mourn for him as one mourns for an only child, and weep bitterly over him as one weeps over a firstborn. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I think we'll see that look on the one whom they have pierced. Somewhere down the road. I think you're right. Interesting passage. Okay, if we could read together on page 90, read, sorry, page 86, read Canticle 10. Oh, no. Man, I am really messed up. Where are we? Page 90, Canticle 13. Page, I had the right page, the wrong Canticle. Page 90. <laughs> Canticle 13. Glory to you, Lord, Lord God, God of our fathers. fathers. You, you are worthy of praise. praise. Glory, Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple. On the throne of your majesty, glory to you. Glory to you seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, beholding the depths, in the high vault of heaven, glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Our next reading is from the book of Ephesians, uh, chapter 1, verses 3 through 14. A reading from Ephesians. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, just as he chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world to be holy and blameless before him in love. He destined us for adoption as his children through Jesus Christ, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace that he freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace that he lavished on us. With all wisdom and insight, he has made known to us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure that he set forth in Christ, as a plan for the fullness of time to gather up all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. 
In Christ we have also obtained an inheritance, having been destined according to the purpose of him who accomplishes all things according to his counsel and will, so that we who were the first to set our hope on Christ might live for the praise of his glory. In him you also, when you had heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and had believed in him, were marked with the seal of the promised Holy Spirit. This is the pledge of our inheritance toward redemption as God's own people, to the praise of his glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now on page 94, we will read together mm -hmm. Canticle 19, the Song of the Redeemed. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O King of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory, Glory to, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In our reading from the Gospel this morning, from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 19, verses 1 through 10. Luke the Physician, chapter 19. He entered into Jericho and was passing through it. A man was there named Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was rich. He was trying to see who Jesus was, but on account of the crowd he could not because he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree to see him because he was going to pass that way. When Jesus came to the place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. So he hurried down and was happy to welcome him. All who saw it began to grumble and said, He has gone to be the guest of one who is a sinner. Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Look, half of my possessions, Lord, I will give to the poor. And if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I will pay back four times as much. Then Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because he too is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek out and to save the lost. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And thankfully he came to find us. Jesus. We'll continue on page 96, professing our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day He rose again. He ascended into heaven, and He is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. 
your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. And if you have not begun yet, please start, uh, put prayers in the uh, comment section and we will collectively pray for those. Um, so, would you do peace? On page 99, O oh God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you for the guide and governance by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And on page 823, Prayer for social justice. Grant, O oh God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may so move every human heart, and especially the hearts of the people of this land, that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatred cease, that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Can you do the next one? On page 824, in times of conflict. O oh God, you have bound us together in a common life. Help us in the midst of our struggles for justice and truth to confront one another without hatred or bitterness and to work together with mutual forbearance and respect through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. On page 827, for those who influence public opinion as we collectively go through this transition in our federal government. Almighty God, you proclaim your truth in every age by many voices. Direct in our time, we pray, those who speak where many listen and write what many read, that they may do their part in making the heart of this people wise, its mind sound, and its will righteous, to the honor of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> on page 100 O oh God you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near grant the people everywhere may seek after you and find you bring the nations into your fold pour out your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord Amen, Amen. It's the other book time. Time Hymnal to sing. Time. time to sing. Get those pipes warmed up. <clears throat> I'm glad you said that. <laughs> <laughs> this morning we are um, the day before Thanksgiving, and so we're going to sing hymn number 291. Um, this is a hymn often associated with the spring, with the rogation period, rogation Sunday, when we used to have that. It's about plowing the fields, and it's also about giving thanks for all that we're given by the Lord. Hymn 291. We'll sing all three verses. Chicken on it. Okay. <laughs> we plow the fields and scatter the good seed on the land. But it is fed and watered by God's almighty hand. He sends the snow in winter, the warmth to swell the grain. The breezes and the sun shine and soft refreshing rain. All good gifts around us are sent from heaven above. Then thank the Lord, oh, thank the Lord for all his love. He only is the maker of all things near and far. He paints the wayside. 
like flowers, he likes the evening star. The winds and waves obey him, by him the birds are fed. Much more to us his children, he gives our daily bread. All good gifts around us are sent from heaven above. Then thank the Lord, oh thank the Lord for all his love. We thank thee then, O oh Father, for all things bright and good. The seed time and the harvest, our life, our health, our food. The gifts we have to offer are what thy love imparts. But chiefly thou desirest our humble, thankful hearts. All good gifts around us are sent from heaven above. Then thank the Lord, oh thank the Lord for all his love. Thanks for the Good thanks for the And I believe that's one of the hymns for this evening's service. So if you want to participate again, tune in to online service at seven. Lord, we enter into your presence, bringing with us the joys of a people who have much to be grateful for, and the pleas of those who are still much in need. We ask you to hear our thanks, and also hear our petitions. Please be with and watch those who are away from family, who are out of their usual routines on this celebration of Thanksgiving, who are working to accept and be joyful in non-traditional settings for them. For those who do travel, guide and guard them, go before them, give them traveling mercies. Be especially attentive to and watch over those who are on the front line of our battle with this horrible virus. Those who serve in hospitals and nursing homes and testing stations, those who care for those who are sick, whether it's in a facility, in a hospital, or at home. Be with all, be with all those who are grieving the loss of a loved one, celebrating Thanksgiving with a hole in their community. We give you thanks for the leadership, the guidance, and the direction of our clergy and staff for their unfailing mm -hmm. adherence to your word and following of your commandments. The leadership they give us, the options that they give us, and particularly also for this community of faith in which we are a part. We ask also for your blessings on those unemployed and looking for work particularly for Chris, for Christian, for Jeff, for all others who would like to be gainfully employed in supporting themselves and their families, give them patience, discernment, and a sense of your peace and presence, knowing that you are ever with them in all their circumstances. Oh, this picture. Huh? This is the government. Thank it's kind you. of a white blanket one. Huh? <laughs> what are the specials that we have shared with us?
thanksgiving for epiphany amen to that um lord we ask continued healing for linda acosta and peace for her husband chris we also pray for all hurricane victims in honduras and central america amen, amen to that to that and lord please be with them in that horrible devastation god please restore mimi to good health we pray for all families and for those who are alone. For Teresa Stimson for cancer healing. Prayers for Claudia's younger son who is recovering from COVID and has final exams coming up. Also, Lord, we pray for her older son for a good score on the LSAT. Surround him with your love and grace and, and give him your calm. And we uh, give special thanks today for every member of our parish and their families. And Lord, we pray that you be with each of us as we enter this Thanksgiving that is unlike most any we've ever had before, that we may find your presence in whatever form it presents, even though it may be different than we've seen it in the past. All this we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Returning to our prayer book on page 101, let us appropriately end with the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, to give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation and preservation and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving Day. We hope to, I guess, just not see you online. We hope to be present with you online this evening at 7. Uh, be warm and be safe. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone.